everyone, welcome in. We have such an exciting house tour to show you today. We are in Kew Village. I'll put a map on the screen to show exactly where we are. Now this property is priced at 2.95 million and it's a five bedroom home, but it's currently set out as a three bedroom house and a two bedroom flat. But if you bought it, you could knock it all into one. Um, the two bed flat is currently being rented out for around two and a half thousand pounds a month. So you could leave it as that if you wanted to. Um, I'll quickly pop the floor plan on the screen and this property is listed with Sean from Finding Country Richmond and all his details will be in the description. Starting off in the entrance, the first thing you'll notice which is super cool about this house is this glass floor looking down into the wine cellar which we'll show you soon. It also lets a lot of natural light into, into the basement. But this apart, uh, not apartment, this house has a really cool Big extension on the back. It was remodeled and redone. Let's head into the first reception room though on the left here. It's currently set out as like a study. Got two desks in here, but it'd be make a nice front living room. Um, but yeah, it's decent size, got wooden floorings, very character. I like that there's a door out to the garden from over there too. Yeah, good idea. So you'd have side access. And a really good thing about this property is off-road parking. You've got two yes. parking spaces out the front. Okay, I'll quickly take my shoes off. We don't walk around the houses in our shoes, do we? That's right, yeah, shoes coming off. Now, this is the second reception room, but it could also be a downstairs bedroom as it does have an ensuite, but it's sort of more of a cozy lounge, I'd say. Yeah. Maybe somewhere you could watch a movie in the evening. And let's show you guys the... I'll let you go in, Matt. The shower's just around the corner, but it's just a modern grey, um, grey yeah. tiled ensuite. Pretty neutral. And then this marble character fireplace, it has been boarded up, but I'm guessing you could take that down if you wanted to. And then you have double doors on this side to the side access, similar to the first room. Okay, we'll save the basement for when we finish this floor. Oh, what's through here? We haven't checked this out yet, have we? Yeah, so you've got the downstairs WC through there. Yeah, downstairs WC. Got clothes, um, sorry, coat storage. Yeah, like a cloak room. And this is like a utility room. Now coming into the extension, this is the staircase um, with a glass balustrade and kind of floating stairs. If you wanted to put stairs in to make it with the other house, you know, the flat I was talking about, the stairs would go there, right? Yeah, the stairs are actually round there. It's just separate access at the moment. Yeah. Um, but this is the kitchen. I love how this is set back at the back of the house and there is so much natural light in here. You've got a huge skylight above me and also on the um, left over that side. But yeah, it's very bright in here. You've got underfloor heating. You've got these four huge slabs for your flooring, so it's not like small tiles or anything. But yeah, very this sleek. extension has transformed the yeah. doesn't it? And added so much square footage onto it. It's so big in here. Let's start on this side of the kitchen. So on the left, you've got this pantry unit and with the microwave, lots of shelving, all nicely laid out. And then on this side, you have your sink with, I think, is this? Is this it's a, a cooker tap. Oh, a cooker tap, yes, instant hot water. Then you've got Siemens appliances. So you've got the five ring gas hob here with the extractor. And then on this side, you've got uh, two ovens. I think this also is like a grill. There's a microwave grill, yeah. And then you've got the warming drawer and then a Fisher and Pekel fridge with nice. a little water dispenser. Now, before we show you guys the rest of this amazing house, we just want to tell you guys about a product and the sponsor of today's video, which is Private Internet Access VPN. So when Matt and I are on the move, we use this to bypass all the geo restrictions to unblock all the content on streaming services like Netflix, Amazon, and Hulu. And if you're working from home, it also encrypts all your data and protects you from spammers, hackers, and even your own internet service provider. And this is super important if you're conducting business on a variety of different networks. 
You can download private internet access VPN on Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, and loads of other platforms. It also comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. You can protect 10 devices on one subscription and it also has a strict no logs policy. Now they are offering it at $3 a month with three months free. So it's only $2.59 a month, which is a 78% discount. So the link will be in the top of the description. So go and check that out. But let's carry on. Oh, let's carry on the tour. Um, let's show the island. We've got two bar stools um, up here. I like how they've contrasted it with wood. Yeah, it works. And then you have another sink here. Oh, and they've actually put drawers on this side. Yeah. That's interesting because normally the drawers are on the, oh, yeah. the actual other side. And then flowing onto here, we have a really large, currently eight seater table. And then your chill out area with um, sofas. This would be more like a daytime, daytime chill yeah, space. Yeah, it's kind of like your family area, isn't it? Yeah. And then all these doors slide open. I'm not going to do that because I'm not great with doors, <laughs> um, but they're absolutely huge on a nice summer's day. Um, shall we head upstairs? Yeah, let's head upstairs and then we'll finish down in the basement. Line. Yeah, so we can't show you the two bedroom flat because it is tenanted, but we'll show you the three bedrooms up here and then the basement. But just so you know, it also comes with two extra bedrooms, so it could be five bedrooms. That's okay, right. let's go upstairs. Right, let's start with the family bathroom. And this also is an ensuite to one of the bedrooms. So you can come in from the landing or through the bedroom. So you've got a separate bath and separate shower. Nice large gray tiles. Yeah, pretty modern. And then through here is bedroom, great size. This is facing the front of the property. So looking out to the road. Nice. The houses on this street were really nice. Yeah. I'm out of breath walking on those stairs. <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> and then wardrobes. Yeah, space for wardrobes along that wall. <laughs> oh no, that we've been into yeah, that room. Yeah, we've seen that. You're getting hot this way. And this is the main bedroom. That's right. So we have wardrobes across here and then also on the back of the headboard. So lots of drawers in these cupboards. Now the third bedroom is the second reception room that I showed you. Yeah. Um, so two big bedrooms up here at the yeah. moment. And then there'd be two more on the next floor if you opened it all up. Um, this is again a great size room. You've got the speaker system throughout. Um, what do you guys think to the headboard in the middle of the room? I'd like to know people's thoughts on that. What do you think, Matt? I think it works great for adding more storage and separating the space. Yeah. Um, I think if not, where would you have the bed? You'd have to have it from one of the walls. Yeah, because so normally it probably works it. better like that. Yeah. You know, I think it's a good idea to be fair. Yeah. Can't fault it. And then a sliding door into this really large ensuite. Yeah, this is a good I size. I mean, check how big the shower is. Nice. I'm actually tempted to turn it on and just get it like yeah, cool, cool down. down. And then this, it's not a dual basin, but it's dual taps with a super large basin. And then these spotlights. And this is a privacy glass. Shall we head out to the garden? Yeah, let's do it. And we've got the basement to see. The basement, yeah, let's go to the basement. We've got a little pole in here. <laughs> got some dance moves in on the way downstairs. Yeah, so there is the stairs for the two bedroom flat above here. And now we have the wine cellar. These are a definite like thing in luxury houses, aren't they? The yeah. wine storage areas. Goes all the way back on here. Head height, we're working with about five, eight. Yeah, maybe, maybe. With a bit of a crooked neck. <laughs> oh my gosh. The bottles have dust on. Wonder how long they've been there. Okay. Oh, this is cool. This little corkscrew. That's not a little corkscrew. Oh yeah, <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's yeah. like a little seat. A little bar stool. And then a barrel for the table. And then you can see people. 
You'd have to make sure not to walk over here with a skirt. <laughs> yeah. And somebody's sitting down here. Okay, let's go to the garden. Okay, let's head outside to the garden. Also, just want to shout out to the subscriber that we met when we were just filming this house from the outside. Yeah. Um, it was nice to meet you. And we've actually met quite a few of you now. So if I you know. ever see us out and about. Always say hello, we're very yeah, friendly. With our big camera. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, here's the garden. You've got a table out here and then this kind of log. That's quite cool, isn't fire it? Like pit. A fireplace, yeah, like a Mediterranean fireplace. Could you like barbecue stuff on here? Yeah. yeah. For sure. And then this back here is actually a water feature. It reminds me of like a Balinese. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Balinese door, which. Or something off Tomb Raider. Yeah. Should we see what that back of the house looks like? Yeah. The extension makes it look very modern. Let us know down below what you guys would do if you would keep it in, keep it as a three bedroom and then rent out the flat to. I mean, it would help pay for your yeah, mortgage and bills. Yeah, good idea to pay for pretty much all you build, Yeah, really. if you don't need the space, or yeah. would you open it all up and make it three bedroom? I think if you had lots of kids, a big five bed house would be really cool. Um, but that brings us to the end of the tour. Make sure to remember to check out Private Internet Access VPN and subscribe to the channel for more house tours and hit the like button. That's why I'm doing that, sorry. <laughs> it really helps our channel. Um, but thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.